Hi, this is James Gordon Octorelli here for book review. Today's book I'm reviewing today. Needle by Hal Clement. Needle was first published in January 1st, 1950. This Avon edition is from May 1957. This was a very boring book. I was uh, disappointed with it. Uh, this has a very interesting concept and idea, but the author just takes like a backseat and doesn't do anything with it. And despite the the interesting location, he's got the story that takes place on. Nothing happens in this book. It's very dry, boring, dull, and there's no likable characters and there's no big climax. And I was just really bored with this. I thought. Wow, for such a, for an offer to have come up with such an interesting concept about an alien that uh, uses a human as its host and it hides while hunting uh, after another alien it, while hiding in her body, it this offer doesn't do anything with this. It's a real shame. Luckily, though, this book is only two hundred and seven pages long, so I read this in a single sitting. Sitting, so th I read this in one day. So that's the only thing I'm thankful for. This book was. Um, not too thick, I got through it very quickly, and there's not really much else to talk about this book, really. It's just very boring. Uh, I discovered this book when I uh, was like reading trivia on one of my favorite movies, The Hidden, and Wick or IMDB.com uh, mentioned this book with a similar plot, which piqued my interest, and I happened to find this book in Valley Village one day. Uh, but after reading it, I f thought the hidden is got is way better. It takes the the idea of an alien hindsight a body uh, committing crime while you got another uh, alien you also inside another body hunting the alien down. And at least that movie does something with that idea. This book doesn't do anything with that. All right, on to the review. Plot: A bounty hunter alien known as the Hunter is chasing another alien dubbed the Quarry. The ships are speeding through space when the quarry tries cutting in front of Hunter's ship, causing the two to crash into each other as their ships hit straight for Earth. Hunter crash lands in the Pacific Ocean close by to a New England state. The Hunter is a green jellyfish-like entity that can live on its own or inside another host. As it moves through its damaged ship, it finds its host stored inside a tube tank has been crushed and is dead. Unable to use its body, Hunter escapes out of his ship and begins moving through the sea while a raging thunderstorm roars above him. Hunter knows his chances of getting off this planet are slim as his ship is beyond repair. Exploring this sea, Hunter is attacked by a hammerhead shark, but is able to attach its tentacle arms, killing it and taking control over the shark and uses it to reach a beach. Upon washing ashore, Hunter hides and rests till the storm dies down. The following morning, seagulls eat the remains of the dead shark, then a group of teenage boys show up and begin swimming. Hunter watches and studies the humans as he needs a host that can survive on air, water, and food. Hunter then chooses its host, Robert Kennard, a 15-year-old healthy and smart teenager who is also called Bob by his friends. After tying himself out and getting a tan on the beach, Hunter makes his body as small as possible, then enters through Robert's body by going under the toenail and begins attaching his jellyfish-like body inside of Robert's body and rests while Robert is unaware he has an alien host inside of him. Hunter spends six months learning of the human history through Robert's eyes along with understanding how his host body works while keeping any harm from it. Hunter tries communicating with Robert but is unsuccessful till he finally leaves Robert's body and uses its tentacle arms to write Robert a note then returns inside his body. When his host awakens to find the note, Robert wants to know who it is and why it's inside his body. Hunter explains how he crashed land on Earth, how he got into, how he got into his body and his mission to track down the quarry. Robert answers Hunter's questions along with explaining things to him as Hunter believes his target is is on the island where they crash landed and must return there stating his target is dangerous. After faking after faking an illness, Robert is taken on a flight back home as his school doctor and headmaster believe Robert is suffering from homesickness and will take a few months off till he's ready to return back. Once Robert and Hunter are on the island, Robert draws out a detailed map explaining every inch of the island as they begin searching for clues of where the quarry went and who it could be hiding inside one of the island's residents. 
Together they begin investigating the crash site along with speaking with the residents to see if anyone has been acting strange or has disappeared. As the two investigate further while trying to keep a low profile, they uncover who the quarry's host is and it too knows where the hunter is hiding. Who is about to become the hunted? Needle was a very dry and dull story. While I like the concept of an alien using the host of a human to track down a killer alien also hiding inside an another human. However, nothing really happens in this story. I thought the setting of the tropical island was interesting, but again, the author doesn't take any advantage to do something with it. The writing structure was decent and the pacing wasn't bad, but felt character dialogue was boring most of the time and none of the characters were even that interesting. The alien bounty hunter isn't the sharpest tool in the shed and even states he picked the wrong host as a 50 year old boy can't get anywhere that easily. He doesn't have any way of knowing where the quarry is and mostly kicks back and lets Robert do all the work while it waits till he finds him something that might lead to his target. Robert was also a flat, boring character who acts way too calm when he learns he's got an alien in living inside of him. And for the quarry itself does nothing evil or tries to murder anyone while in the host's body. And the giveaway how Robert Hunter discovered whose body it's hiding in was so dumb I was expecting something dark or shocking, but nope, I didn't get that. All I got was a man who does things dangerously that puts his host at risk of being badly injured or killed while at work. Nino felt so much like a young adult novel as it's very tamed and held back from Alicia's full potential. I couldn't believe how bored I was reading this, just waiting for something to happen in this novel, and not one single damn thing happens till the very end. I felt this novel would have been better if the story was told from the point of view of the criminal alien enters a human body and goes on a crime spree. That would have made a better story if that was its plot. Overall, I don't recommend Needle. It's a very dull, dry, and mostly boring story that isn't worth reading. If you want to see a better story of an alien criminal hiding inside a human body, check out the 87 film The Hidden. It. It's way better than this novel. And that is it for the review today. This is just another short and simple one because there's not really much else to talk about in this book. Um, as I said, it's very boring, dry the whole time, and nothing happens. Like... There's nothing that happens, and the the whole time I'm reading this, like, is something going to happen yet? No, nothing happens. And when the hunter reveals uh, to Robert um, that he has, a like, an alien living inside of him, Robert is, like, way too calm. Like, he's just like, yeah, this is normal, and he's just, he just rolls along with it. He's not freaking out or anything. He's just, he's calm, and he's fine with, fine with it, and... Uh, there's another part where they have to re they have to reveal uh, to this doctor who, uh, of what's hiding inside of uh, Robert, and the doctor is also way too calm for this. Like when the, when he does the, the scene, it, it is revealed uh, to the doctor. He's just like he's like like so calm. Like, they, like yeah, this is normal. This is totally normal for for humans to be um, evaded by aliens and then then uh, enter their bodies to, as a host. Like it's like come on. Um, let's see, the hunter itself, um, was just really, a, a really, d like, kind of like a dumb character, like, it knows how to fly a spaceship, but when it, once it gets on Earth, it has no idea of how to find the quarry, and it doesn't have a weapon, like, I was thinking, doesn't this thing have, like, a weapon or some method of, of how to track his target? No, he doesn't. The only thing he had was, like, this other body to use, uh, while exploring planets, but it gets destroyed in the, the crash, so that's all this thing has. So, like, this is not a really good alien bounty hunter, if you ask me. Uh, and the, the quarry itself, the big reveal, it's just, like, really, that's who it was this entire time, and for the six months that this thing has been living with Robert to understand human history, it never picked up, uh, it never picked up on anything of the... Of this other character, and I was like, "This is just so dumb." And it 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 took to the very end, so they they make this conclusion: it's this guy. He's been uh, doing things very unsafely lately, and his uh, putting his life putting his life on the line. Like, I thought, really? That's that that's the giveaway to, the, of, of where the quarry is. And there's this one part they ha they, have, they actually have like a telepath co communication, and it was really just really bad. Oh, this was not a good book at all, and. Uh, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it all. I just, I, as I said, I felt it was very boring, dry, and dull. Uh, there's probably better books that ha that have like um this concept. Um, there's one I've heard of that's supposed to be good. Um, the, the Japanese manga Parasite, which is like a similar thing, but at least that has something happening in it. 
All right, uh, that's it for the view today. Hope you enjoyed it. And for my next book, I will begin reading Neverwhere by Nell Grimman. It's good to get some more fantasy on this channel. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and please don't forget to subscribe to October Library, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook group of the same name. And please post your review of fiction. Until then, I'll catch you later.